This is a tough one. This week's episode is about rejection. What do you do with it? Whenever someone says, I reject you, you are not good enough. I do not deem you worthy, whether it's for a job or for friendship or relationship or it's your work. Rejection fucking sucks. Oh, I've been rejected before, many times. Everyone has. Oh, and it's so hard. And I do take it so personally. But what does this say about me? What does it say about what I value? What does it say about who I'm giving power to? <clears throat> and it's always interesting to get rejection in places that you least expect it. It's in the process of trying to do something good for others or to get a film off the ground. Whenever someone rejects you as a person or your artistic craft, these are personal things that people are tearing apart. What's the response to rejection? I think there's a couple different responses. For me personally, usually my first response is the worst one. And I spiral into self-doubt, into a dark place, believing that I will never be accepted or loved or have that kind of security. But to give someone that much power over me, no matter who they are, is foolish. Rejection will come. People will hate you just for shit. People will also not accept you or reject you for any varying number of reasons. Man is fickle, often changing their minds and their heart and what they like and don't like. What do I do? I think it's an identity issue. What am I staking my identity on? What is it in my life that is unchanging that I can stake my identity on? If someone rejects me and says, you are not worthy, what can I point to? I think for me personally, I can point to Jesus Christ. I can say that Jesus loves me, not because I was more lovable than anyone else, but just because he chose to love me in spite of how wicked I am. That is my number one anchor. But I think you can also have an anchor in who you are as a person how you're shaped, how you're formed, how you're different than other people. Rejection can mean a lot, and it can also mean a lot more about the person that's rejecting you than it does about yourself. And because one person rejects another, does not make that rejection true. It does not make the outcome that the person or thing that was rejected has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. You will be rejected, I will be rejected. I do not take rejection well, but I need to. It's part of this industry. I make a film, it's very personal and it's very true to who I am as an individual, my artistic expression. And there's going to be people that watch it and think it's total shit. But I need to let that go. That whenever I am rejected, I can learn from that rejection. I can appreciate what is true and let go of what isn't. I can dissect and try to understand how much of this rejection is the other person and how much of the rejection is me. And then ultimately, I can move on. I can be rejected, I can be despised and loathed and hated by a bunch of people for no reason whatsoever. But that can't control me or enslave me because I have to keep pushing forward. I have to keep taking another step in front of the other, in front of the other, in front of the other. I do, I just have to keep pushing on. Rejection fucking sucks. It hurts to the core of who we are as individuals. It's not the final word. It's not the final word for me. It's not the final word for you. But in the meantime, you can also take assurance in the fact that rejection is never the final word. Rejection is never the final word. Live boldly, friends. Live in a way in which you receive more rejection. Probably the more rejection you get means that you're creating new boundaries, that you're pushing the envelope, you're trying to shake things up and live a compelling life and let go of it and keep it here, don't let it get into here. It, it, it's more easier said than done. But if you can let rejection be outside of you and not define the most vulnerable part of you, you will live a more free life. You will be able to walk forward with confidence that's not your calling in life, to be accepted by everyone. Your calling is to live a genuine, authentic life of integrity that is uniquely made for you. A unique calling on your life, a unique way of living that is true to who you are.